Thank you for joining us. It is one of the most reviled firms in America right now, and now you see it, now you don't. AIG, the gigantic insurance company in the crosshairs of the financial crisis, is trying to go under the radar in a sense. As Paul Boyd reports, the beleaguered company has pulled its name off the front of its New York City office building. AIG is getting a multi-million dollar makeover, starting with this landmark Manhattan skyscraper. Look before, now after. AIG's name has disappeared. The name, which once stretched proudly across this entrance, was removed from the building because executives who work here had been receiving death threats. So with no announcement, workmen took down the name while the building was empty. AIG is to change its name to AIU for American International Under writers. AIU, uh, IOU, you know, what does the U stand for? Is it you continuing to be greedy? Is it you continuing to be rich? Let's go get AIG! <laughs> Nationwide outrage at AIG over huge bonuses given to executives left the giant company's name irrevocably tarnished. The change was ordered by CEO Edward Liddy, who told Congress last week the company's image is beyond repair. Several other huge corporations have changed their names to improve their image. Enron is now called Cross Country Energy, and tobacco giant Philip Morris became Altria. Embattled Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner said Tuesday he did all he could to stop those AIG bonuses, but Liddy told him the company was legally bound to pay them. His testimony was disrupted by protesters who were repeatedly warned to stop holding up signs. As we've seen with AIG, distress at large no, companies. Yeah, no, will you stop, please? Yeah. Will you please act your age back there? Stop playing with that sign. Well, some of that AIG bonus money has now been returned. New York's Attorney General says nine of the top ten bonus recipients have given back the money. 